Hello everyone, Holly here, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a new start. So a couple of months ago now, I bought this new diamond painting from Evermoment. It is a um, 60 by 90 and it's this one. So this is the spices. Um, I absolutely fell in love with this one. I thought it'd be fantastic in my kitchen. So I today have decided for a change to start this one. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this diamond painting, so I am about ready to go for it. I'm a little bit out of breath because I literally have just got home from work, done all the hoovering, done all the washing up, cleaning, and I'm knackered. <laughs> So um, I thought I would chill out the afternoon and, um, and have a new start. So I have got my uh, trusted boxes. These boxes um, come from Harbour Freight in America. I have mentioned it on a few other videos that you can't buy these from the UK purely because they don't ship here. Um, however, I absolutely love them. Um, you get 24 containers um, in each box and they're fantastic. I just put the number, the DMC number with the um, symbol and I just pop them in here. And I have two boxes today. So I've got kind of one and I guess you can say seven eighths. Um, well, seven eighths, it's not really seven eighths. It doesn't really work out like that, but it's not really, um, well, I guess it's um, three quarters minus one. So I've got my lovely containers for my drills and I always use uh, this really nice big tray. I don't tend to go a bit fancy with pens. I've tried quite a lot of pens and I tend to just go back to my, my lovely normal average pen that you get with all your kits. And then I've just got the wax that comes with all the kits as well and my Evermoment tweezers. For some reason, I just prefer Evermoment tweezers. I don't know why, I just find them easier. They're, um, they're a lot more heavy duty, I find. A lot less flimsy. However, these ones are bent by the looks of it. So I'm gonna have to go and get some more, but I've got like a million of these things because you get them with every kit. So um, without further ado, I am going to get going on this painting. What I have done, actually, just to come back quickly, is the diamond painting is a 60 by 90 square drill. However, when they've put the um, <clears throat> adhesive on, they've only given me two strips. So my strips go this way. So I've got two big, quite thick strips on my painting. So what I've done is I've pulled back um, one half of the strip because I think it's like you can see here we've got the line and then I've cut this bit so it just makes it a bit easier when doing my diamond painting oh and I also forgot um, that I have my trusted um, light pad my light pad I can't do anything without my light pad it's such a game changer if anyone doesn't use a light pad with their paintings, honestly, is an absolute game changer and I will show you why. I'm just gonna get organized. So what I might do is I swing it around the other way. And I swing this that way. Right, so this is what it looks like without... What is it with the hair in this place? Honestly, I can never do a diamond painting without half of my cat's jeans being caught in it and I don't know where my thing is actually where is it yeah so this is what it looks like without and then this is what it looks like with I mean that's just a game changer that is just fantastic I couldn't do any of my diamond paintings without this light pad I absolutely love it and I got it on Amazon um, it's reasonably cheap. This one is a USB one. It just plugs into my laptop because I'm usually either listening to an audiobook or I am watching something on my laptop. 
Um, so if you haven't got one, definitely, definitely recommend getting one. Anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So here we are, this is the Spices diamond painting which I've been totally pumped to start doing. I was sitting at work today thinking, what shall I do? I've got a diamond painting that I am desperate to do. I've got like literally um, three other diamond painting whips. I have about four or five um, cross stitch projects that need doing. I have all these projects I want to be doing and all these projects I really need to be doing to finish them. Um, and yet I'm thinking, let's start another diamond painting. <laughs> I know this is one that everyone is being um, really excited to see. So I decided that today I would do the spices. I decided to use a ruler today. Ordinarily, I would never usually use a ruler, but I decided I would have a go and see how this panned out. I normally just use my eye and do a straight line, as much of a straight line as I can, and usually they are pretty straight when doing the edges of my diamond painting. So I've used a ruler, I'm gonna see how it goes, and I will, uh, I will come back to you with my results. I already know I'm going to really, really enjoy this diamond painting. I think that Ever Moment's quality of canvas and of drills is second to none. I love the fact that the drills all pop together. This is a square drill, and um, you know, and sometimes in in other diamond paintings, you have different size drills, so you don't really get that satisfaction of the of the popping, but. You know, I find with Ever Moment, all their drills are, um, you know, equally sized. They, you know, it's they're they're totally standard. The quality is, you know, what you're getting, and um, I know I'm going to love doing this. So a little bit about my day, it's Monday, so Mondays is generally a work day, so I was at work at 7am and I work until 12, I work those days Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, 7am till 12, which is lovely, although it's an early start it does mean that I have the rest of the day which is fantastic. So Mondays generally is a diamond painting day, a video editing, it's a cleaning day, it's a day that I can um, get everything clean and tidy and fresh 
and just you know just one of those days where I'm not sat down doing cross stitch or you know a, a number of hours doing diamond painting I do need to have time out to actually do the uh, household duties so I came home from work, I had a cup of tea, and then I started on the cleaning. I have um, a, a process in which I do for the cleaning. So it's really bizarre, I don't set my cleaning for a specific room. So I don't do a room at once. I kind of do all the rooms, if that makes sense. And I'll explain how. So say for example, I am going downstairs, uh, I'm taking some washing up downstairs, say for example I take a cup and I have got some washing up so I'll take that cup downstairs and instead of returning back to the room that I was tidying I will then do the washing up and then say for example I've got some clothes that need putting away so I'll then bring those and because they're in the they're in the kitchen so I'll bring those upstairs and they will be in the room in like my my next room which is I basically have two rooms so one is basically a, um, a wardrobe and I've got a settee in there and a TV and everything so then I'll bring those clothes up and put those away but then I'm in the I'm in the like living room room so then I will sort out the sofa and I will do some dusting and say for example there is something in that room that belongs into my bedroom so then I will bring that and say for example it needs to go into a drawer so then I'll bring that and I'll put it in the drawer but my chest of drawers that I'm putting it into just need some dusting and need some tidying so then I'll tidy that so it's almost like whatever I'm touching at the time is what I will tidy so I'll, I'll kind of go back and forth back and forth but it for me it doesn't then make it such a big thing it's not like I've got this whole room to clean and tidy or I've got the whole of the kitchen to do it's like I'm touching on little bits a little times so it's almost like bite size um, say for example I've got something that needs to be moved from my my partner's um, nightstands and then I'll and that needs to go into my desk so I'll move that from there and I'll pop it in my desk and then I'll clear my desk and it, it's it's that kind of moving from one thing one room to another that doesn't make it so sort of static and boring for me and that's generally how I how I work but I will do all the tidying and then I will but I will tidy and dust at the same time so for example if I'm touching on a nightstand I will do the cleaning of that nightstand at the same time as I'm I'm tidying it if that makes sense so I won't tidy everything and then dust everything that's not kind of how I work I tend to do it a little bit sort of higgledy piggledy but it tends to, I, that works for me you know I I give it like an hour and generally an hour is enough and that includes the hoovering the stairs and hoovering the landing and um, it, yeah it just works and it just doesn't seem or feel to be that much of a big job. A bit strange but you know, that's me. I'm going to leave this video here. I am trying to do slightly shorter videos. I just think they are much more appreciated than, you know, the 35 minutes or the hour longs. I think if you see a video that's like an hour long, you're very much like, mm, okay, that's quite a long video. But if it's 15 minutes, then it's like, yeah, great. I can, you know, get that, that video in whilst I'm doing, I don't know, some diamond painting myself. So this is going to be about 15 minutes and um, I've got a yellow rose video coming up behind it. I have done videos already for that, I just haven't done the editing which I will be doing later on today. So if you haven't already done so, press the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be notified as soon as those videos go up. But join me again in my next videos, have a fantastic day, keep safe, keep your family safe and I will see you again soon. Bye!